So Banggood asked me if I'd be interested in doing another product review. And they gave me the option of getting this camera style microscope. And it caught my attention because normally I ignore the camera style of microscopes because if there's any delay from the what you're doing to what you're seeing, it's kind of disorienting and hard to work under. It might be fine for inspection, but for working under it can be difficult. Um, now this guy is only $65, which, oops, it came with a little uh, outlet adapter, um, which is interesting because that's that's cheap. Now, well, I have my Amscope here, and I absolutely love it. Probably one of the best tool purchases I've ever made. Uh, after you purchase everything you need, I'm probably well over $700 into it. So if this can even come remotely close to working well, then it'd be a good alternative to people that are just starting out and don't want to blow, you know, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars on a good microscope. But there's a lot of reviews on this thing, so people are buying it. So maybe it's not as bad as I think it's going to be. Look at the user manual. This is the stand. So far it feels like a lot of this is aluminum or aluminium. Okay, and USB cord. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna set this thing up and we're gonna try it out. Okay, let's take a quick tour of this thing. I apologize in advance, I really don't know anything about it, it just kinda plopped on my lap, um, but we'll start with the uh, USB power input port uh, card slot for recording, and this is the LED brightness adjustment here for your main work light. Plug this in and we'll give it a little test here. Should There we go. So there's your dimmest setting and brightest setting. On the other side, there's nothing this is, of course, one of your, your, well, actually, this isn't your focus. This is your zoom amount. And, of course, that's going to affect your working space, which it does have a good, nice working space. And this is the focus right here. Um, we'll run through the menus quick. One thing before I forget, I was actually surprised. This has a built-in uh, battery, so I guess it's portable if you need it. Anyways, um, let's look at the menu settings. Uh, so we have the resolution setting. 1080 full HD. I don't know if that's real or not because you know. Um, oh, HDR. Uh, again, it's I have it turned on. I don't know if it's real. The high dynamic range exposure adjustments meant zero and date time, which oh, that's for the time stamp. Um, I'm gonna leave that off and then there's another layer of yeah, another layer of uh settings. So we got the LCD brightness. Oh, that must... I wonder why... I guess there isn't a, a time delay for LCD brightness. Seems a little strange. I don't know what that's about. Auto power, auto power off. Yeah, I'll leave that off. Frequency adjust. So you're 50 and 60 hertz. Languages. We're going to stick with English. Date, time. That's probably to set the time. Yeah. Uh, format the SD card. Default settings. Oh, here's the version. Okay, so I think that is all the menu settings. Yes, it is. And according to the box, it is a 12 megapixel with a up to 1200 zoom 7-inch display. Okay, so now my big question for myself is can I actually work under this thing? Uh, let me try that right now. Okay. I'm going to give this thing a try. Now I have... Two different fluxes I'm going to be trying. Uh, I have the, well, they're both Amtec. Uh, this is the cheapest of the cheap from uh, from China through eBay, uh, Amtec. And this is also fake Amtec, but it's slightly better fake Amtec than this stuff. This stuff is more mustardy in color. And it, I'm going to use this for the top row to reflow these resistors. And it's just, eh, it kind of comes out funny and 
it's hard to clean up. That's my biggest problem. But I also wouldn't recommend this flux for doing any kind of BGA work because it pops and fizzles. So that will be knocking your balls around. <laughs> so on the bottom here, I'm going to use a slightly better fake Amtec. My real Amtec is on the way. Anyways, let me see if I can actually solder with this thing we're looking at the at the uh, monitor. So. Okay, see what I miss already is uh, with the, the amp scope, you're using both eyes left and a right, which gives you uh, a stereo view, I guess, more of a 3D view. For this, it's really hard to tell depth. It's hard to, to feel where I'm at height-wise with my soldering tip. Yeah, it just feels strange not being able to see in 3D. Um, but as far as the delay, it seems okay. I, yeah, there's not much delay, so that's good. It's just loss of, of three dimensions. It's like working with a flat surface, so it's really hard to see where my tip is at looking at the monitor. But uh, can maybe get used to it. Again, maybe this is more geared to our inspection and not actually working under, but it's doable. Okay, I'm going to turn on the uh, recording. So if it records to the SD, it should switch over right now, and you'll see what I am seeing. And the clarity is not bad. Let me play with the focus here. Yeah, the picture quality is good. I mean, it really is. It does have a nice quality image. And this is the better of the fake Amtec right here that you're seeing. Um, less mustardy in color, but you'll notice as the fake, super fake stuff uh, starts to cool off, it gets thicker and it's hard to clean off. Let's just finish up this row of resistors here that are fractured. I find myself looking down at the work a little bit more than the monitor. But if I was working on something really small, um, I wouldn't be able to use my naked eye. I'm going to zoom in, see, see how close we can get. Check out the maximum zoom. The working distance now is uh, getting to the point where it's not usable. So again, this would just be for inspection and not working under. Still not maximum yet. Oh, wow. Okay, I think, yeah, I can't quite zoom in that far. I'm losing. And this is the farthest I can zoom in. Wow. I mean, that's... That's a tight zoom. Un not really practical, but it can do it. Okay, let me get my focus back in here. Okay. Not bad. All right, so those resistors I just reflowed were probably large enough. You really don't need a microscope for. I'm going to try an 0603 resistor. Um, we're going to use the slightly better Amtec Flux for that one. Let me hit the record button here. And the shittier Amtec Flux for this smaller one. So this is more of a can't do with the naked eye style of uh, microscope rework we're doing here. I'm going to give this a try. I'm, I'm going to look right at the monitor and I'm not going to look at the actual work. And uh, can I kind of miss three dimensions, but this is doable and it's not too bad. See, here's the crappy ant tech how it bubbles and fizzles and Oh, I should clean this off too. All right, so again, I'm really having a hard time with just a flat image. But you'd be saving a lot of money with a $65 um, microscope versus, you know, a seven to $800 microscope. So for beginners, this might just be the ticket. Put a little uh, rubbing alcohol on there. 
or let me zoom out a little bit more so you can get a better view. You just go up all the way here. Now you kind of see what I mean, how this Amtec is hard to clean off. The real Amtec cleans off much easier. I, uh, I know it's a no clean flux and eh, I just actually plugged up my alcohol bottle with flux. Uh, I know it's a no clean, you don't have to clean it off, but I don't like leaving a mess. I like it to look original and untouched and clean. So, anyways. Good enough for an example. How about that smaller 0603? Okay, so those of you that are here for instrument cluster repair, please do me a favor and check out Matt's YouTube channel, Fixed Until Broken. He's been doing some really good stuff lately with figuring out the software side of things with reverse engineering and uh, really digging down deep into the microprocessors. And he currently has 362 subscribers. Uh, I'd love to see him get pushed up over that thousand mark so that way he can turn on monetization which then means YouTube will actually do a better job at promoting his channel and the mass majority of people will actually see it. And I think his channel definitely deserves to be seen. Um, and just a quick summary of this microscope is, I mean, if I spent $65 on this, I wouldn't feel ripped off. I think it is not bad. It's a good meet in the middle tool where if you're not ready to invest the $700 into a real stereo style microscope, maybe this will get people by until they're ready to invest that kind of money. And well, I hope I covered everything and uh, I'll have a link down below if you want to buy this thing. So uh, again, thanks for watching.